Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and in this video, I'll show you how to convert a Google Play Edition HTC One to a stock sense based HTC One. So the prerequisite here is that you need to have your bootloader unlocked and you need to have S off. So if you haven't done that already, I have a video tutorial on how to unlock the bootloader. That video tutorial is demonstrated on a sense based HTC One, but it will work with a Google Play Edition HTC One as well. So uh, unlock your bootloader following that. I'll leave a link to that video right below the prerequisite section in the, de in the description. Link to from the prerequisite section in the description will take you to this page on XDA Developers Forums from where you can gain a SOF. So once you've done these two, go ahead, back up everything on your phone. And once you've done that, let's continue. Heading on link one from the download section in the description will get you Android SDK.slim. Download it, right click, extract. Link 2 will get you HTC driver and link 3 will get you this file the orish uh, underscore hboot uh, underscore 1.44 so get that as well link 3 will take you to this page on HTC dev just make sure you make the same selections and download this specific RUU file so once you've done all this just copy the file you downloaded from link 3 and move it into Android SDK Windows Platform Tools and now on your Google Play Edition HTC One go ahead turn it off so once it's off hold down volume and power at the same time and now you can plug your cable back in so over here select power once to boot into a fast boot so guys, another thing worth noting is that Windows 8.1 is not supported with this method. Uh, that is the reason I'm using my Windows 7 laptop. There are some driver issues with Windows 8.1. It will not work, period. Alright, so make sure you find yourself a Windows 7 or Windows 8 PC to get this done. So guys, right now, hold Shift, right click, and select Open Command Window here. So over here, type in Fast Boot space get var space cid hit enter so my cid currently says it's uh it's eight ones so if you says something else go ahead type in fast boot oem write cid and one two three four five six seven eight ones hit enter so now if your cid gets changed to eight ones that is super CID as in it will let you flash pretty much any RUU. So guys right now type in fast boot OEM reboot and caps RUU hit enter. Your phone will now flash you will see HTC displayed on screen. So don't panic let it remain as it is. Now type in fast boot flash zip space ORIG tab so that will select finish off this file name so right now hit enter so once this is done your on on your HTC one you might see a green bar below that is incomplete don't worry about it just type in fast boot reboot dash bootloader and hit enter so right now if your HTC One is back to the bootloader. You will see the white bootloader interface right now. If you're in Windows 8.1 at this point your PC will no longer detect your phone. Anything past this point you will have to continue from a Windows 7 or Windows Windows 8 PC. So guys before we run the RUU we need to relock the bootloader. So type in fastboot OEM lock. Hit enter. It might say failed, but don't worry about it. Your bootloader will be locked. Your phone will now boot back into your Google Play Edition ROM. So don't worry about it. Let it boot up. So now uh, once your phone's up, quickly turn it off. Power off. So unplug the cable and hold down volume and power. So we are back to the bootloader. So over here you can see it's, it now says relocked. So quickly connect it, connect the cable back. So guys right now hit power to enter the fastboot 
mode so we are now done with the command prompt so let's close that go to go back and double click on the file that we downloaded from uh, link 4 hit run so hit I I understand next I've completed the steps indicated above next so now I've click on update give it a few seconds and I've clicked next next so this will take about 10 minutes to complete uh, your in this time your phone might flash it might uh, switch to the screen the HTC uh, logo with a black background don't worry it will take about 10 minutes I'll be back with you guys once it's done so guys we are up as you can see we've booted into the sense rom so let me quickly run through setup so as you can see we are now on sense uh your over the air updates will work and your phone is back on sense on stock sense so that's pretty much it for this tutorial i uh, hope you guys found it useful if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and if you want to convert your phone back to a google play edition uh, version i have a video tutorial for that i'll leave a link to that right below the like button as well so once again that's pretty much it guys thanks a lot for watching and i'll catch you guys soon in the next one till then this is ash here from c4e tech signing off you guys have a great day bye bye now